right in the middle of the Festival of, of India. I'm doing my rounds around the festival to make sure everything is going okay. And I'd like to mention the, uh, the devotees who set up the event. Quite often the, the Harinam and the stage program gets most of the attention, as you've seen in our, our videos. But really, we've got the silent soldiers here. Uh, first of all, the men, the setup crew who set up the stage. It's a big truck, actually, that opens up into this massive stage with sound system and lighting. And then they set up the various tents that we see around the festival site. It takes about six hours to set up, and we do two or three major events every week. So it means that these boys are, you know, working, setting up this event, sometimes in the, in the rain, in the wind, or even just the hot sunshine. And then two days later they break it down, and the next day they set it up again. So they're really, really troopers, uh, you know, building what you could say the spiritual world. We, we try to create a spiritual atmosphere here. We actually try to replicate Vaikuntha or Goloka Vrindavan. So when people walk into this festival grounds, they experience something definitely spiritual, something Krishna conscious. This is our idea. And, and in the tents, we have other devotees who are in the restaurant, or they're in the book tent, they're in the tent serving herbal tea, they're in the astrology tent, they're in the gift shop, they're in the makeup tent, they're, they're in the uh, sari tent, and so forth and so on. These are another group of silent soldiers. They're in those tents from 5 o'clock in the afternoon until 10 o'clock at night, serving the people, giving them again the experience of, of Christian consciousness. If you look around the field, it's just people. We do 48 festivals a summer, and we average to between five and 10,000 people every day. Capture the people and bring them off the beaches to the Harinam, and then bring them here and let them experience the wonderful world of Christian consciousness. And these devotees who work in these, these tents, uh, they don't even see the festival themselves. <laughs> They're just in the tents doing the various services, and uh, it's the people who come here and, and get the experience. So this is the goal of this festival program, to, to, to bring people into this wonderful world of Krishna consciousness and give them a spiritual experience. So what does that mean? It means to enliven their senses. We have our material senses, but we're spirit souls, so we also have spiritual senses. So the whole process of Krishna consciousness is to awaken those spiritual senses. And we do it through this cultural experience. Um, Rupa Goswami said one time, he writes, that somehow or other, get people interested in Krishna consciousness.
So our approach is through this cultural event. There's the stage show going on with the singing, the dancing, the music, the theater, the lecture, the magic show, the puppet shows, etc. But there's also something else for people to do. They can walk around and their spiritual senses are enlivened and they get this experience of Christian consciousness. And generally we find that those people who it really touches their heart, they want to leave with something, so they go to the book tent and they buy a Bhagavad Gita, the teachings of Queen Kunti, or the book about Prabhupada's life, and they take the experience home. And people find this so attractive that uh, they come back year after year. We have people who have been coming to this festival for 20 years or 15 years or 10 years or 5 years. They see it actually as an important part of their summer vacation. And quite often they'll go to our website, Viva Cultura website, they'll see when we are in a particular town and they'll plan their vacation based on where we are so they can come to the festival and quite often They'll follow us, you know, two or three or four festivals. So this becomes part of their part of their life. As they're coming every year, their questions are getting deeper. They're starting to read more. They're starting to chant Hare Krishna. They identify with us, and it becomes a fabric, a part part of their life. So this is our this is our goal to share our good fortune with others. And through this cultural extravaganza, we do it. And the proof of the pudding is that the people experience it and and they, they love it and it becomes part of their identity. They consider themselves a part of the experience that they get it at the Festival of India. A great way to preach Krishna consciousness, to spread Krishna consciousness through culture. As we said the other day, one time Prabhupada said that we will take the world over by culture. What type of culture was he referring to? Uh, he was referring to the culture of the spiritual world, which is satisfying to the heart. So, stage show, tent after tent, books, chanting, dancing, just being with devotees, associating with devotees, getting that experience. This is a wonderful way to spread the message of Lord Chaitanya. All glories to Sri Prabhupada. Hare Krishna.